Hey, my name is Bhavani Kola. Welcome back to another session of Face to Face to Online Transition. In today's session, I will be showing you how to use the live polls option during our online classes for attendance, social emotional check, quiz and survey. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So here I am in my Teams app. In order to add the polling option to your meeting, the first thing you have to do is click on your calendar tab and go to the meeting that you want to add your polls to. So here I scheduled a review session for my students on December 9th. I'm going to go ahead and double click on that. But I highly recommend starting with your meeting options. Please make sure you change your meeting options where only you can be the presenter. By doing so, your students will not be able to add their own forms and you don't want that during your class. So once the meeting options are taken care of, you simply click on this plus icon right here and you click forms. It's as simple as that. As you can see, you can create a poll during or before your meetings. But I will also show you how to create a poll after your class is done while the chat is still alive. So let's go ahead and move on to the next step. I simply click save. And as you can see, here I have it. Now all I have to do is click on create new poll and start my polls. Now let's go ahead and take a look and how many different ways can you use this polling option during our live lectures. So let's go ahead and create our first poll. In order to do that, simply click on this create new poll. As an educator, I would always like to check the social emotional status of my students. So I would go ahead and do that. I would simply ask my students how they are feeling and drop in a couple of emojis so my students can pick and choose their feelings. So I went ahead and created a poll to check the social emotional status of my students and it's totally up to you if you want to keep your responses anonymous or if you'd like to know which student is feeling happy, sad and overwhelmed during your class. But for my case, I would like to keep the results anonymous and I'm going to go ahead and save this. Congratulations, you have created a new poll. Once the poll is created, as you can see, it's still in the draft mode. It has not been launched yet. You can go ahead and launch it. And as soon as you click launch, everybody in this particular meeting will get a notification of your new poll and it will ask them or prompt them to take the poll. I am not going to launch it now, but you have an option to edit the poll if you want to alter something or delete the poll altogether. The next thing I would like to show you is how to take attendance using this poll feature. I'm simply going to click on create new poll. Because this is a review session, I would like to give my students extra credit. So I'm just going to ask them, did you attend the review session? As you can see, as soon as I Ask the question, Microsoft Forms automatically gives you options for your answers. I do not want to add all of them because this is an attendance. I simply want to click yes and I am going to delete the other options. I only want to have one option here because only students who attend the review session can actually take this poll. So I do not want to keep it anonymous because I would like to export the results and award them points. And I also do not want to share the results with anybody else. I'm just going to uncheck this one and I'm going to save this. The next thing I would like to show you is how to use this polling feature as a quiz. In order to do that, I'm simply going to go ahead, create new poll, and I'm going to type in the questions and options. So here I created a quick quiz for my students and please make sure when you would like to use this poll option as a quiz, you will not check keep responses anonymous because when you export the results, you definitely want to see what the students have answered. And also I highly recommend not checking share the results automatically because there will be a student who will wait for the other students to answer and might copy that answer. So you might want to keep that that suspense when it's a quiz. And once this is all done, I'm simply going to go ahead and click save. 
So the next poll I am creating is to collect feedback from my students. I will simply go ahead and type, how well did you understand today's lecture? And as soon as I type in the question, as you can see, Microsoft is giving me all these options. All I have to do is click add all and there I have it. I definitely want to keep this anonymous and then I do not want to share the results, but it's totally up to you and simply going to go ahead and click save. You also have an option of selecting multiple answers, but in this particular case, I don't think that is required. I'm simply going to go ahead and click save. Now let's go ahead and take a look how these polls look and feel in a live class. Go ahead and click join. I will go ahead and share the PowerPoint that I prepared for this class and my questions are based on this PowerPoint. So there you have my first slide. And once this slide comes up, I can either have the social emotional check ahead of time or during my class. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down for the polls that I created and I'm going to launch my social emotional check. So I simply click launch. And there you have it. Just like the way you see on my screen, students will see their poll on their screen and they will be prompted to take the poll. And as you can see, this also pops up in the chat window right here. Students can see the poll results right away. Once the results are done, you might want to make sure you go ahead and close the poll. So now I'm going to move on to the next slide, which reminds me to take attendance during my class. I'm simply going to scroll up to the attendance poll and I'm going to click launch. And as soon as I click launch, here I see a window popping up asking me to take the attendance. Again, this is only for students who are attending the session. So all this is going to do is it's going to register the email addresses because you picked an option to not to keep this anonymous. I will go ahead and share the results later on. So let me go ahead and click yes and submit. And there I have it. Once I take attendance, I'm going to go ahead and close the poll. I'm going to move on to the next step. I will explain my class, move to the next slide. And here, I want to go ahead and ask my students which is the right answer. But I did not create a poll for this one. So not to worry, it hardly takes a minute for instructors to create a poll. I will simply go to my polls option here and click create a new poll. Because I do not have enough time for this question, all I'm going to say is the answer is A, B, C, and D. I want to create a mini quiz here, so I definitely do not want to keep the responses anonymous and I do not want to share the results just to make sure students are not copying from one another. I'm going to uncheck this and I'm going to save this. The poll has been created. All I have to do is quickly launch the poll. As you've seen, it hardly takes me a minute to create a new poll. You can actually create a poll while students are reading through your questions. All I have to do is click launch. As you can see, the window pops up and students can go ahead and answer the question. And every student that answers the question, the email address will be registered. And I click submit. And once this is done, I'm going to go ahead and close the poll. Now I move on to the next question. And I prepared a poll for this particular question. So I'm going to go all the way up and simply launch this. There I have it. Students will go ahead, answer. Again, anonymous is unchecked. So every student that answers this particular question will be noted down and we will take a look into those Excel sheets in a minute. And so once I finish presenting my class, I will simply leave the session. Once the session is done, you can always go back to your calendar to that particular session and click on the polls. And as you can see, here I have all my polls. That's one way to get to your polls. Another way to get to your polls is to simply click on that particular chat and click on your polls option. And there you have it. As you can see, I have asked my students four questions and I closed the polls. But after the session is done, I would definitely like to ask my students how well did they understand today's lecture. In order to do that, I simply click launch. 
And as you can see, the poll becomes live. And when I click on the chat, students get a notification telling them that a poll is live and they need to go ahead and take the poll. Now let's go ahead and take a look on how to extract the results for these polls. So here is the live lecture polls that I did early this morning and here are all my results. All I have to do is simply export the results and I'm going to click export and it says poll results successfully downloaded. I'm going to go ahead and click on export results for my attendance as well. And I'm going to go ahead and export the results for this particular question, which I will be treating as a quiz. And once this is done, let's go to our download folders to pull up that information. So here I am on my download folders. As you can see, I have multiple uh, Excel files because I have multiple polls. The first thing I would like to show you is how to pull up your attendance for the class. Remember the attendance question was, did you attend the class of November 19th? And the only option was yes. So I'm simply going to my download folder and clicking for that particular Excel sheet. And as you can see here, the list of the students that attended today and they took a poll. So attendance becomes a breeze when you are using this kind of polling option. So now let's go ahead and take a look on how to grade the quiz question. In order to do that, you simply have to open the Excel file of that particular question. As you can see, it says identify the type of hypothesis. That's the quiz question I asked in my class. And these are the answers. They will be sorted out for you. So just by looking at it, you know which student has the right answer, which student has the wrong answer. As you can see, all my students have answered right tailed except for one student. And all you have to do to grade it is simply go to the column next to it and put a zero if it's wrong. I put a 10 or five if it's the right answer. And there you have it. Please keep in mind, you can always add these polls to your meetings or the chat during, before, or even after. All you have to do is either go to your calendar, look for the particular meeting, and simply click on add new tab, add your forms, and launch your poll or you can simply click on the chat feature of that particular meeting click on add tab add your form and launch your poll i hope you learned something new today i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please make sure you like subscribe and if you think it's worth sharing please go ahead and do so there could be an educator who might really use these live poll options to either take the attendance check the social emotional level of the class, take a quick quiz or even a survey in the class. And always remember, happy teaching and please take care of yourself.